Oh, other way, other side. Other way? Yeah, like, um, like that. And then try over the ears. Perfect. Here he is, Danilo Rodriguez, 5-0, and oh, the Mega Earp with an unbelievable win streak representing Bogota here in Medellin. The mixed martial artist has a strong BJJ base. You know, Mickey, when we think about these, these grappling-focused guys, what are some of the standout qualities? Man, you know, they have to have their own creativity. They have to have their own game, and if they're, you know, a grappling style, they got to funnel the game into where they're the best. They need to make the fight, go to the places where they want it, where they're going to be superior to execute their submissions and get the finishes. High stakes for these two lightweights, each individual undefeated. Both guys have a string of stoppages. That all has to end for one of them here tonight. Under the amateur rule set, I believe it's three three-minute rounds. If my knowledge serves me correct. Mickey, you ever fight under those rule sets? I did, I did. I had a lot of, you know, amateur fights in the in the shin guards. Um, I'm not sure what the rules in Columbia there, if there's I know we, in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, we couldn't ground and pound. While in Ohio, didn't wear shin guards, you could ground and pound. Can't kick to the head. I, I'm I'm not sure the uh, the exact uh, limitations <laughs> that are are here under the uh, the great Colombian Commission. There's never consistency, right? You got New York's amateur rule set where it's no uh, ground and pound to the head. We'll see. Representing Combat Nation is Sergio Fuentes, five and zero oh at 19 years young. He takes on Danilo Rodriguez, six and zero. Oh. He is 17 years the elder of Sergio Fuentes. Now, where do you lean, Ben? Do you go with uh, youth or do you go with the experience? I feel experience has always proven itself to be paramount. These older guys have seen everything you could possibly show them. And we set it inside to our veteran ring announcer. Vamos a medir los ánimos esta noche. Preparados para la primer pelea! En la esquina, azul, con un peso de 70 kilogramos, 19 años de edad, un récord de 5 peleas ganadas, 0 perdidas, de la ciudad de Barranquilla, representando a la Academia como mencioné, Sergio El Diamante Fuentes! En la esquina, Roja, con un peso de 70 kilogramos, 36 años de edad, con seis peleas ganadas, cero perdidas, de Funza, Cundinamarca. Representando a la Academia Sima Jiu Jitsu. Nada más y nada menos, Danilo Rodríguez de Mayor. Referee Central, Mauricio Nutricionista. Once again, our tale of the tape. Brought to you by Burger King. Mickey Gold, if you reglas. need a burger, es might as well be a Burger King one. You have your letra. way at the King, baby. <laughs> Each guy physically quite similar in terms of stature, but feels like the elder gentleman, Danilo Rodriguez, is a little bit more filled out, probably has you know, put the mass on that older body. 
Yeah, a little bit of uh, man strength, huh? <laughs> Here we go. Empire MMA 5, we get going here with our first prelim, Sergio Fuentes and Danilo Rodriguez. Rodriguez in the red gloves with the yellow trunks. You can see the smaller man, Sergio Fuentes, in the all black. Danilo establishing the, di the distance, jabbing at the gloves. You can see Sergio Fuentes really just taking the center here. Danilo on the outside. Good head movement so far. Ooh, big right big. overhand. No. Blue right. gloves versus red gloves. That right hand seems to keep landing. Mickey, here's a takedown from Danilo. Good cage work here, both gentlemen staying upright. And hey, we gotta get this straight. Is now I we have the blue. Is the blue Danello? I'm very certain that Danilo Rodriguez is the one with the tattoos and the yellow trunks. In the in the red tape. All right. In little the red tape. Little, little bit miscommunication. Maybe that's a truck problem. Either way, Fuentes here deep on a single, gets it down, Mickey. We got a little guillotine. Let's see if he can, get, he can establish that guard. He, he has the guard. He's not fighting the hands. I don't know if his hands are connected under there. He has a little bit of an arm in. The hands do not look connected. Danilo Rodriguez has three career submissions. And All of out. them rear naked chokes. Not able to hit, get that guillotine. One minute left in round number and he's one. passing, passing to the proper side. Whenever you're in a guillotine, whichever side your head's on, you want to bring your body to the other side. If you go the other way, you're going to make the choke tighter. Sergio Fuentes applying some pressure here with that bicep. Certainly uncomfortable, now transitioning over to half guard. If you're Danilo Rodriguez, you got 45 seconds left. Do you pop back to the feet or do you wait this round out? He's on the top or the bottom? Bottom. Um, he's he's got to try and get up. He can use this, as they call this 100%, and he can roll him to the right. Let's see, good... Uh, Good uh, balance by uh, Fuentes. Definitely tough with the mismatched here in terms of name and actuality. Either way, <laughs> 20 seconds remains. Good first round for the youngster, Sergio. We can ground and pound in Colombia, my friend. <laughs> Love it. Equally unhelpful when they've got the sort of same hairstyle as well. The, the thing that's throwing me is the blue gloves and uh, I would think uh, Danilo's on top, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not positive. I'm going to try and check between rounds. We're going to come back with a conclusion. Danilo Rodriguez. Yep. It was backwards? It was backwards. They had it backwards. All right. Finaliza. Got to straighten that out, boys. Tiempo. All right, first Danilo. fight. Patrocinio de Burger King. Danilo está amarillo. Sí, sí, sí. Danilo Rodríguez. Sí. All right, so Fuentes is in the blue tape, black trunks. Danilo, like, I think you had it right. Danilo's in the, the yellow. I would hope so. We did talk to Sergio. <laughs> Unfortunately, there was not enough time in between the conversation in terms of uh, putting that down on the notes. But great kid. Seems like he had a good head on his shoulders. Uh, hopefully they're not listening to the English broadcast. <laughs> Hope not. <laughs> One big standout thing about Sergio Fuentes, 19 years young, competing in what could be considered the pinnacle of mixed martial arts in Colombia. A lot of pressure on those young shoulders. Sure, absolutely. Um, lot, they have a good amount of experience, both of them, both uh, 11 fights between them, five and six fights each. So, uh, you know, neither man has tasted defeat, so they both have to have a lot of confidence. Sergio Fuentes has only gone oh, to the scorecards two times. He is a finisher through and through, and he's showing that here in round number two. Landed that double jab overhand in both rounds. Danilo 
seemingly needs to find the answer to it. I like the way uh, Fuentes is soaking up the space. And there you go, uh, Rodriguez trying to soak that space right back. Great expression there on Danilo Rodriguez. A little bit of El Loco in those eyes. Muy pequeño. <laughs> 220 left in round number two. Certainly a slower start. Each guy maybe have felt the strength of the other in round one. Now more cautious. Rodriguez been on the back foot this entire first and second round so far. Seems like he's just trying to figure out the chess match of how to enter in on Sergio. Yeah, Fuentes is, is controlling the distance and uh, backing him up. He's applying pressure, but uh, you know, a long pressure. Sergio lands there, quick reset from both gentlemen. Midway through round number two. Mickey Gall, any large takeaways from the subtleties of these two mixed martial artists? I, I, like, uh, I like Fuentes, his, his feints, and uh, the way he's soaking up the space, the way he's jabbing at the gloves, the way he's staying active. I think uh, Danilo Rodriguez is, is looking to counter, um, or he's being a little bit too inactive. And you know what I mean? There's a nice overhand from him, uh, came from a counter. We'll, we'll see if he's going to you know, get a sense of urgency as this fight goes on because right now Fuentes is leading the dance. Fuentes just marinating on that Burger King logo. <laughs> Final 60 seconds in round number two. Danilo Rodriguez might have to put on a little bit more in terms of offense if he wants to win here tonight. That double jab Ooh. overhand, oh, it goes to change level, nice. Defense. Completes the takedown. Once again, Rodriguez brought to the canvas. Sergio Fuentes, questions certainly answered about whether or not the youngster would be able to have a bit of a strength advantage on the uh, individual 17 years as elder. He did a great job the way he circled him away from the cage to flatten him out. Uh, I like the way he pulled him off. That, that, uh, that, that showed some, uh, some savvy right there. Now he's trying to build his base back up and put his, his back back on the cage to build up and get back to his feet. Once again, in that guillotine position. Sort of just trying to maybe limit the posture, mitigate the damage that Sergio can do on top. <laughs> Our clock's a little off. <laughs> Brad Colombian time. <laughs> <in the> call. <laughs> Round two in the can Ooh, between Fuentes and Rodriguez. These two bona fide finishers will see the third, but right now we're seeing a couple replays. Mickey, walk me through it. Man, you know, I, I, the double jab overhand has been, uh, has been his weapon throughout this fight. As, that was a nice little jab hook. Um, I, 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 Fuentes is leading the dance. That's what I'm seeing a lot. He's being first, he's soaking up the space, and uh, he's landing. Sergio Fuentes regionally is a top 20 lightweight and amateur welterweight out of over 1,500 different athletes. He is considered inside the upper echelon. On the flip side, Danilo Rodriguez is the sixth ranked amateur lightweight in Latin America out of over 900 high-level guys to kick off tonight's card. Seems like maybe that is just creating a bit of a stalemate here. Neither guy knows which tools to implement. Yeah, you know, you notice the difference of uh, posture. Uh, Fuentes stay, was standing, kind of moving around in his corner between rounds. Uh, Fuentes look, looking a little tired to me, sitting a little hunched over. Um, different strokes for different folks, though. We'll see what happens in this third round. Heavily crowded ring in between rounds two and three. That must have been at least 20 people inside <laughs> the, uh, the Burger King arena. Fuentes and Rodriguez. We got both feet in the burger for now. Let's see, whoever, whoever steps off the bun first, that's the <laughs> real loser, I would say. <laughs> Fuentes pushed them off. He's been controlling that burger all night. Big touch there by Fuentes. Activity with that lead hand is really palpable. I mean, he is starting and stopping most combinations with it. Yeah, I really think that's been the difference, uh, him controlling the distance here. Danilo Rodriguez, through two rounds, has yet to really find any meaningful answers. He's got less than three minutes to do it here in Medellin, Colombia. Now, psychologically, he's got to think he's down. He ended up on his back both rounds, kind of uh, controlled uh, in, in the cage. So I wonder when that, uh, that sense of urgency is going to go off and he's going to start swinging, letting those things bang. 
That right hand of Sergio Fuentes once again connects onto Rodriguez. How do you counter that double jab if you're Danilo? Got to take your head offline. Uh, you take your head offline, you know, uh, on a righty on righty. If he dips his head to his left, he could throw that overhand over the top. But if you, once you get that stick stuck in you, that jab touching you, it's hard. You're, all, you're getting pushed on your back foot. You're off balance. Final 90 seconds. Oh, big old There's overhand. That's what I'm talking about. Time to bite down to the mouthpiece and maybe swing some leather. Yeah, let those things fly. Switch stance. Certainly a different look for a moment, but Fuentes undeterred. Throws another jab. Now a little bit of a switch kick upstairs. Danilo Rodriguez testing the waters with those leg kicks. but He's been throwing that inside leg kick. I'm wondering if he's looking to throw it and set up an overhand off it. Uh, kind of similar to the way uh, Dan Henderson used on that famous knockout on Michael Bisping. Kind of touch the leg, look low, and boom, come over the top. Danilo certainly going to need a bomb here in this final minute. 50 seconds remain. Again, the number six ranked lightweight in Latin America here. Just somewhat puzzled through three rounds with Sergio Fuentes on his hands. Nice. I like the double jab as well when you, you keep the hand up to combat the jab coming back at you. And uh, Fuentes starting to use that. There he goes, mixes it up with a hook. Final 30 seconds. Once again, this opening bout brought to you by Burger King. There's that overhand again. Rodriguez might be feeling a little bit comfortable as we approach the final stretch of round number three. Either way, Ooh. he's got to let loose. Final 10 seconds, Mickey. Takes a shot of his own. Looking for the guillotine. Takes him down, but on the wrong side. Fuentes locking up, but not much time. A guillotine here to close it out. Round three is in the books. By all accounts, Sergio Fuentes has toppled. Finaliza, no es lo primero encuentro, MMA. De la noche. Just a bit puzzled. Mickey Gall, once again, the highlights. Yeah, you know, great movement. You see the footwork. And uh, the biggest takeaway I have from this one is controlling the distance, controlling the space. Uh, good job to uh, Sergio Fuentes. And, uh, you know, Danilo Rodriguez is there to the end battling. So uh, hats off to both these fighters. Seems like a somewhat potentially academic lesson, you know, shooting for a takedown first time in the fight does secure it. Maybe should have used that weapon a bit earlier. Yeah, it was a little, little, too little, too late. Too little, too late there. Emotional. It wasn't the tool he, he, should, he needed to employ at that time. <laughs> Close-up shot here of Sergio Fuentes. This 19-year-old certainly proving that he has got all of the makings of a potential problem at 155. There's Danilo. A lot of young talent on this Empire MMA card. A lot of young talent in general in Colombia. Very, For sure. you know, a breeding ground of the next generation a lot of people would consider one half of our co-main event, John Tacha Rodriguez. People are saying he's the next big thing. That journey continues tonight for him. Yeah, we have a couple uh, great fights tonight, the, uh, the main co-main event. Uh, two titles on the line. Very excited for these fights. Got some real veterans, some up-and-comers. It's, uh, it's going to be a fun night. We set it inside to our official decision of Sergio Fuentes and Danilo Rodriguez. Two unbeaten talents. Somebody's O has to go to kick off the card. Señores, resultado de la primer pelea de MMA de esta noche. Puntaje en tarjetas, 28-29. Primer jurado, segundo jurado, 28-29. Y tercer jurado, 28-29. Ganador por decisión unánime. Esquina Azul.